Hey folks, um, Larry here, Vans Cars and Trucks, Brooksville, Florida. Uh, sitting here at work and going over notes, we had a little meeting here earlier and we're kind of getting ready and cranked up for the season. Our season really is February, March, because that's our volume of vehicles that come and go quickly around here. And we have a little over 135 vehicles. That's maybe more than many years ago, but uh, it's less than we had in the last couple of years, but it's for a reason. We've got higher quality vehicles. We're really glad to have them. We're really, uh, we have lots of work that we're turning them out to make them ready here for our customers. Lots of projects related to them. A few of the vehicles to give you an idea what I'm talking about. We've got a 2013 F-150, uh, one owner, uh, super cab. Um, uh, very, very, very clean, nice truck. Uh, got some extras on STX model. But the surprising part is not only is it a Florida vehicle, but it's got a 53,000 miles. Uh, hard to find. Uh, you can pull it up on Carfax or go to vancecarsandtrucks.net. Uh, or give us a call. We'll tell you all about it. But I don't expect it to be here too awful long. Uh, I got some others as well. 2010 Silverado Crew Cab 4x4. That one also qualifies for lifetime engine warranty. We send them in for a warranty inspection, and you get it for no additional cost. Um, we consider that a benefit and we are proud to be able to offer it. Good anywhere in the United States. You can come back here, we'll help you out with it if you need it, but it's for you. Uh, 2010 Ford Sport Track. That's that funny little vehicle that's like, like half truck, half SUV. It's got full four doors and it's got a little tiny bed in back. Kind of a special, neat vehicle, but this one also is low miles. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Drives really perfect. Got new tires on it, some other new stuff that upgraded on it here to make it uh, really be the best it can be which is all part of our process of making them ready for you. So we got about 13 vehicles in this week, uh, making them ready, more to come in. And uh, we got some great wholesalers that are picking these out for us. So we're really proud to have them, which reminds me, one of them said, he services other dealers. He says, Larry, why are you guys so busy? I got some dealers that aren't too busy. And I told him, well, I don't know. I don't really know. We just, we just work. But I thought about it when he said it and it made me reflect a little bit. And I thought, thought about it. It's my circle of friends that we've developed here. It's not about me, but it's about all the people that we have got around us. Uh, you start multiplying uh, customers, uh, employees, their families, their friends, our vendors, the part that we play here locally, and that's, that's our circle. You too uh, should have your circle of friends because that is what makes you personally successful. That's what makes your life go ahead. So I think if you nurture that relationship that you have with those friends, and that circle gets ever so nice and tight and strong, uh, you're going to be successful as well. And I know that, you know, we're not perfect, but I know that we work at building those relationships, not tearing them down. Uh, part of our success is the way we take apart that, those tasks at hand. For us, it's a combination. Jeff brought it to the equation. He's very observant, got great observation skills. He says, Larry, you've got structure. And I said, what do you mean structure? He said, you've got organizations, you've got systems. And we do. Even those keys behind me right here, part of our systems. We have, uh, you know, when we bring a vehicle in, we have a system to bring that vehicle to focus. We write up a worksheet on it. We know, we know some things about it. We know how we want to move it ahead. Is it going to be a brand new car when it leaves? Absolutely not. But let me tell you, it's going to be a very, very good car, and we're going to try to know all about it. We want, we want no surprises that we can prevent. And uh, so we have structures involved to get us there. And on the sales arena, too, a process, an uh, organization to make it work for our customers to make them feel really good about the structures and, and systems that we have. Uh, performance, and that's personal as well because you have to perform for your family, you have to perform for your friends, and, and you know, whether you like it or not, uh, you probably are rated by your own performance of how you stand up to what you need to do for your part, and we're rated as well, so we try to think about our performance, how we do it, you know, within our structures and how we perform getting those vehicles ready, how we perform with our customers, are we satisfying their needs or not, and, and right on through that whole, whole process is performance. So whether it's professional or private, we have to be uh, honest, be fair, um, be critical, but honest about it. But are you doing your best uh, to bring your best self to the table for all those relationships that you have on those performance-related issues? Last little part of that stool to make it three legs is discipline. Because only with a fair amount of discipline can you really be successful. Because, you know, if we sleep in late every morning, stay up late at night, drink a lot of beer, and don't pay attention, uh, you may or may not be a success. You may be a great artist, but it's hard to exist otherwise and hard, hard a full-time job. But for most of us, that discipline uh, reflects into 
how we take upon those tasks and how serious it is because if we can make it a daily habit to do something positive, get up at a certain time, be at work at a certain time, be, be the best that we can be and bring those discipline related items to our, our attitude and how we take on all our tasks at hand, if we can be disciplined uh, and have those other things in line then we can be a success. The last item uh, Jeff didn't bring up but I had to think about it because um, it has a hard, a strong part of the equation but it's hard to exactly put to a, a value, monetary or otherwise, and that is it's, it's love. And love is, is not just that silly word that we say for special occasions or Valentine's Day which is coming up, but love is how we treat ourselves. We've got to treat ourselves with self-love. Uh, realize we're not perfect but we do our best, we love ourselves, and we reflect that love outwards to other people. Uh, we know we're not perfect for them either, but if we can express ourselves honestly and, and love them and love our customers and spread that value of, of goodwill, and that's what it's about, spread that value of goodwill to those around us, it reflects back. And it made me think when I thought of that of many, many years ago, uh, PBS had specials on, I would be bored, I'd be watching some things. I fell into one fellow on a program and he had a, a, a series he did and he was known as Dr. Love, and his name is Leo Biscaglia. He's, he's long since passed, but I'll tell you what, he's on YouTube today, so he lives on. He lives on. He's going to be living forever on YouTube. And look him up, because Dr. Love brings all that to a fine focus of what you can bring to the table, bring that love and focus it, focus it out, and it will re reflect back onto you. And I can tell you through a lifetime is my best things that I've done is because I, I have put that out there and I've taken some risks and gambles on people and otherwise. And, and spread some goodwill along the way. And I think that if there's any success to be had, that's where it's really all about. Not to be stupid about it, not to you know throw things out there and, and be silly, but to really be genuine in the process. And you can be surprised that you will have all that good stuff reflected back at you. Something in there about karma, I don't really know about that stuff, but it does kind of work. So uh, look him up on YouTube, uh, uh, Leo Biscaglia. And there is, a, there is one show in particular you want to watch, it's called Only You Can Make a Difference. Because that presentation he did right then, I, I saw it on YouTube and I remembered it from when I was young. But only you can make the difference because you can't control those around you. You know, you can't control your family, your friends, your kids, uh, you know, anybody. But you can control yourself so you can make the difference and you can decide how to react and your own attitude on how you present yourself to the world. So again, uh, Vans, Cars and Trucks, uh, come on in. We got a bunch of vehicles and we're spreading the love. Thanks.